What is up everyone, this is Mogami here, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to essentially download emulator on your Steam Deck. So let's get right into this. So if you want to play PlayStation, Game Boy, I don't know, GameCube, <laughs> Wii, whatever games on your Steam Deck, now you can. You can download the emulator and essentially play the games. Uh, it's going to be a quick video, I'm not going to go into like the 20 plus minute videos that others have. They've done a great job, they're very detailed, but I'm going to go straight into the video, straight into the point on how to do it. And you know, we're going to get right into this. So the way you're going to do this is you can't do it on Steam itself, right? You Or, or the Steam OS, I should say. We're going to go into uh, the desktop view because that's where we're going to do it. So we're going to go into settings, power, and we're going to switch to the desktop view. This process shouldn't take long, uh, with the exception of the download. That took me a little while, uh, but I'm going to show you literally step by step how and what you need to do. So I'm going to apologize because I do not have a keyboard and mouse clicked connected to it. So I literally have to do this with the freaking Steam itself. <laughs> so the website you want to go to is called mudeck.com. Uh, the way you use the keyboard, if you aren't aware, is you press the Steam and the X button and a keyboard pops up. So FYI, if you're like, how do I type? It's not working. That's how you do it. So the website's called emudeck.com and you want to essentially click into the download section there. Once you do, the app itself is going to download and it's most likely going to download to your desktop. Regardless of where it downloads, you want to just click into this. It'll kind of bring you up uh, or it's not there anymore. But the download button over there and you can just double click into that and go to where you need to. Once you have that downloaded, I would just recommend downloading whatever ROM you want. I downloaded Metroid Fusion. Uh, just for, It's a Game Boy emulator game. Uh, or sorry, Game Boy game, I should say. Game Boy Advance game. And so it utilizes the Game Boy emulator. So what you want to do once you have that downloaded is it's something like this. It'll be called Emudeck. You'll just double click into it. You'll kind of, I'll just kind of show you, then I'll turn it off. It'll open into a console like this and it'll start downloading. You'll see it like download every single little thing that you want or need, etc. All that beautiful stuff will happen. And that's going to take some time, right? So I've, I've kind of already done that process. And it'll ask you, do you want to do hard mode or easy mode? I did easy mode. I would recommend you to do easy mode. Hence why I said this is supposed to be a quick, easy tutorial for everyone to kind of try and go from there. So once you have that done, this will pop up. The Steam ROM Manager app. So this is the place where you kind of like play around and get what you need. And you'll even see over here, like it's, it's a little intense. You will see a bunch of different information here, a bunch of different like emulators over here, actually. I believe it's 100 plus emulators. But where you want to kind of play around with is something called Preview. And in here, you press Generate App List. Based off of what you have clicked, the emulations will essentially, or the games will actually start popping up over here. You can like uh, filter them in like a different way. You can make them grids. You can make them posters. It's completely up to you and how you want them. Uh, I did this. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And this is the Metroid Prime game that I downloaded. I don't know why there's no image. I, I don't care. <laughs> but uh, you can see all the different emulators are here. So this is a PlayStation emulator. This is a pl uh, PlayStation 2, sorry. This is PlayStation emulator. And you'll actually see this in the Steam Deck, and I'll kind of show you. So once you have your things downloaded, uh, the best part, which is the weird one, is you want to copy and paste a ROM or whatever file into the emulator. So you don't just drag it in here. I, I wish you could, apparently you can't do that. So uh, you essentially need to go to your folder. So it's in home, it's called emulation. And in here you wanna go to ROMs and this is where you find the applicable one. So I, again, it's like a hundred plus. I had to, it's very annoying. I would recommend getting a mouse and a keyboard to plug it in you get a wireless one if you have to, you know, it's not a big deal. And then kind of go from there. So I found GBA and as, as you saw where I was initially, and I essentially just copy pasted it. Even that's a pain. <laughs> the, the ROM that you download, it's in your download folder into the file. That's literally all I had to do. Once I was kind of done there, all you now need to do is you want to click back on, oh, no, well, you don't have to click that. Uh, you just click into return to game mode or gaming mode. Uh, and when you, oh, I, I forgot to mention, when you do the generate list, you want to do save list as well. Uh, so it saves into Steam then. Uh, so just be cognizant of that. You do want to do that. So once you kind of do all that good stuff that I mentioned, you want to go back. Let's say you did everything successfully. You want to go back to Steam as you see me going to Steam right now. And I'm going to show you exactly what you do. So once you're in here, uh, you're not going to see that first. You want to click into uh, the Steam button. You want to go into your library. And this is where you'll start seeing your old games, your installed. You want to go to the non-Steam one because this is where you'll see your good stuff. I haven't played around and seen if I just double click that, if it'll work. But the one I was in right now, 
uh, that, that does work is some, the one that's called MU Deck. So this is the one I'm opening up, and you'll see over here, like, it'll talk about, like, oh, look, I have the Game Boy Advance one, there's one game, no favorites, obviously, and you'll see Metroid, Fusion, and whatever, e European, I think. Uh, so launching the game, you'll see it, the game launch, you can do the other save stuffs as well, so boom, we can do English. So again, the controls are going to be whatever, I haven't played around much. But, boom, I technically have Metroid Fusion on my Steam. I can play the games, I can do the saves. I'm pretty sure there's, like, other options and places where I can essentially uh, save the BIOS and save the Steam file directly from here, rather than doing it from its... Let's exit. From th that itself. But, again, I haven't played around too much in it yet. But this just wanted to show you, like, this is literally how easy it is. You can literally have Steam or Jeep get emulators on your Steam Deck. This was just one game. You can download PlayStation, whatnot, all that stuff. Again, is it gonna crash? Is it gonna work? Different question, different video, uh, you, cause you're gonna have to kind of play around with the emulators and like, again, like if you're playing Dark Souls or Demon Souls, I should say, it might crash, right? <laughs> you playing Metroid Fusion, you should be good to go. It's a simple game. You shouldn't be having that much of an issue. Uh, so this is essentially how you do it. Wanted to make this video showing you. I will make a future videos on like essentially how to install like the other ones, how to make the what does the hard mode mean versus the easy mode, how to kind of get like more complex into it. Like, can you play PlayStation 4 games? Uh, I don't think you can do five at all, but like, can you possibly do that? Can you play Xbox games? How to install standalone games on your Steam Deck and all that other good stuff. You know, there's, there's possibilities of those as well. So I'm, I will kind of like start getting into those as well, uh, but we'll kind of like leave that up <laughs> for later. Uh, but yeah, do let me know guys in the comment section below if you're possibly running into other issues, if you're possibly running into like, like you, an error came up that you weren't able to install it, just let me know in the comment section below. I will try to di deep dive into this. I'm trying to like figure out for the Steam as much as I can, trying to make content for you guys on this like how to do little things how to do error how to fix errors how to change dns codes the network errors issues uh, anything that's possibly coming up you know because that's what this channel usually does i try to help you guys out figuring out all these different issues and kind of going from there uh so yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. This is a, a lot more fun content going to come out eventually. So I want you guys to, you know, keep you guys posted on that. And we'll kind of like rack it up and well, just keep, take it from there. Uh, but yes, if you guys overall do have any comments, questions, concerns, more than happy to help you out. Just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys uh, have any other content that you'd like me to make, also let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to help you out. If you guys overall like this video, please do smash that like button. It helps a lot. It helps the channel grow. It helps with that YouTube algorithm. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification as well. Other than that, uh, more gaming out. I'll see you next time. Peace.